come è stato annunciato giovedì prossimo sarà pubblicata una lettera enciclica sulla cura del creato invito ad accompagnare questo avvenimento con una rinnovata attenzione alle situazioni di degrado ambientale ma anche di recupero nei propri territori. Questa enciclica è rivolta a tutti. Preghiamo perché tutti possano ricevere il suo messaggio e crescere nella responsabilità verso la cassa comune che Dio ci ha affidato a tutti. Laudate si, o oh mi Signore, laudate si, o oh mi Signore, laudate si, o oh mi Signore, laudate si, o oh mi Signore. Laudate si comes from the music of the heart, music of the human heart. It comes from the music of nature singing praise to God. It comes from uh, an effort, an attempt to, to give a new hope to the world, a new sign that we are all related, we are all responsible one for the other. Laudate Si comes from the voice and the heart of God. It's God's song that sings through creation. It's God's song that sings through each of us. Laudate Si is an expression of responsibility. It tells us that I no longer can live my life for myself. My life is a mission, as Pope Francis tells us. My life is to give glory to God by respecting and caring and promoting a, a, a sense of being in this together. That life is, is a, it's one, and there were all members, each of us bring a special contribution. So it's not just a flowery song about how we should live with nature. It's challenge, challenging us to revise the, our entire way of living our lives, how we internalize the values of the gospel, the gospel of our Christian lives, and what challenges this means for us. If someone is starving somewhere in the world, we are responsible. If someone doesn't have enough food to eat, then we need to reduce and, and, and review the way that we approach food, the way we approach our use of goods, the way we accumulate things, the way we expend and discard things. We need to be challenged to review, to conduct a, a conversion of our own lives. Nature is barking, nature is chasing after us, telling us we've got to wake up. It's disturbing us. But it's not disturbing us in order to threaten our lives. It's telling us we are already a threat to ourselves. We're a threat to the world. And nature is trying to tell us, step back from the brink before it's too late. What happens in exploitation without limitation is not only is nature stripped of its dignity, which God gave it, and we cannot deny that, but we are progressively stripped of our own dignity because each time that we fail to show dignity toward other human beings and toward nature, we lose our own dignity. We lose our own recognition of our special character, if you will, that God has given to us as human beings, that we are called to be this mission, to be this witness in a particular way. Laudate si, o oh mi signore, laudate si, O oh, mi Signore, laudate si, O oh, mi Signore, laudate si, O oh, mi Signore, laudate si.